Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the seventh edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will show you how to beat match in DJ Pro 2. Even though this is a tutorial series on DJ Pro 2, this tutorial is applicable to any DJ software. Let's get started. So the whole idea of beat matching is to play songs at the same speed, or BPM, that match up on the same relative beat of each track. This is a great tool for a smooth transition into your next track. In this tutorial, I'm gonna use two loops uh, from two of my songs, Happy Father's Day and I Got No Love. So I'm just gonna play those for you so you know what they sound like before we start um, playing them over each other. So when we're beat matching, the most important thing is that we have the tracks at the same BPM. I'm going to play these two loops over each other. Uh, first, I'm going to have them at the same BPM, which they are right now, 128 beats per minute, and have them playing at the exact same time, so perfectly lined up, perfectly beat matched. Then what I'm going to do is change the BPM of I Got No Love to 129, and then show you how quickly it gets out of sync. So first, here they are in sync. I'm gonna play Happy Father's Day first, one time through the loop, and then um, I Got No Love will come in after. So there we see that the beats were totally in sync and it sounded great. Now I'm going to change the BPM of I Got No Love to 129 and do the same thing. So we can hear that it's already starting to get out of sync and we haven't even finished two loops. So that is why it is so important that your tracks are at the same BPM. The next thing to take into consideration when you're beat matching is where to start the track that's coming in. You don't want to start it at a different part of the phrase. Now if you don't know what a phrase is, I'm going to explain what phrases, beats, and bars are. So a beat is every single one of these grid lines represents a beat. So if you play the, if I play the loop, one, two, three, four, those are all beats. A bar or a measure consists of four beats. So. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So every time that I count to four, that is one measure completed. Now a phrase is a group of measures, typically a group of four measures. So each of these loops are one phrase. So if we play it from the beginning, which you've already heard. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So that completes the phrase. Now, relating this all to beat matching, you want to start the track that you're fading in at the beginning of the phrase. So you want it to be the beginning of the phrase of that track, and you want it to be at the beginning of a new phrase for the track that is already playing. And I'm going to show you some examples right now. So the, the perfect beat match that I did earlier, that was at the right phrase. But if you st I'm going to start it right now where it's not at the correct phrase. I'm going to start it a couple uh, beats in, and you'll see how off it sounds, even though the beats are lined up and it is the same tempo. So 
So even though this, these are lined up, we can still hear how bad it sounds because they're not in sync the right way. Next, I'm going to show you how to make slight adjustments if you are a little bit off when you start the second track and it's not completely totally in sync with the first track. So just for I'll play Happy Father's Day and we're going to use these little plus and minus um, buttons right here. So on the second deck, they're right here on the first deck, they're right here. So the plus speeds up the track and the minus slows down the track. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that right now. So if I do Happy Father's Day and I want to speed it up, I'll hold the plus and it obviously speeds up. If I want to slow it down, I hit the minus and it slows down. One thing to note is whether or not you have pitch lock on or off. Right now I have it off, but I am going to turn it on because I do prefer it on, especially when I'm uh, making these adjustments. All it will do is it will not change the pitch um, when it is on and I'm speeding it up. So right now I'm playing my loop and I'm going to speed it up and the pitch stays the same. Same when I slow down. I'm slowing it down and the pitch stays the same this time. Now I'm going to show you an example of uh, the second track, I Got No Love, fading in with Happy Father's Day, but I'm not going to be perfect on um, when I Got No Love comes in, so I'm going to have to use these buttons to slightly adjust um, the track so they fully line up. First I'm going to turn pitch lock on for I Got No Love as well. It's a little behind right now, so I'm going to hit the plus button to speed it up a bit. And now they're perfectly lined up. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the sync button. I don't recommend using sync for a simple beat match like this. Uh, definitely only use sync if the beat grid is totally correct. A lot of times um, it is not going to be correct. Sometimes the track may be at the right tempo, but the beat grid is off by a beat or two, and that will totally throw off the way that sync works. Sync has to do with not only the beat grid, but also uh, the measure as well. So you need to make sure that if you are going to use sync, that you're 100% positive that the grid lines are perfect. So here I'll show you the example for sync. I just hit play for Happy Father's Day, and I'm going to start uh, I Got No Love a little early, but I'm going to hit the sync button, and now it's perfectly in line. So yeah, don't trust sync, but it is a good tool if you uh, can use it properly. I will go over some cool ways to use sync creatively in a future tutorial. I'll also be making a tutorial on how to beat match while using a DJ controller. But other than that, uh, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music and DJ performances, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Yeah.